Previously on Sailing Catalpa. You can see all the slime and yuck. We just got this because our track record of catching fish hasn't been that great at the moment. Visit La Paz, sail to the most beautiful anchorage we've ever been to in Mexico. Looks like a swimming pool. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We're currently anchored in a little bay on the island of Espirito Santos. This is the clearest water we've seen in Mexico and we feel like we were anchored in a great big swimming pool. We pretty much spent all day on or in the water. So this morning, mum, dad and I, we went for a hike. Then we came back and we like went swimming. And just like, look at this behind me. This is just like, it's just paradise. <laughs> this is my favorite spot in the Sea of Cortez. Like, I don't <laughs> want to leave. Like, it looks like a pool. It's just ridiculous. A job that needed doing was cleaning the hull. Mum was helping clean the bottom too, but kept getting distracted by the rays that kept swimming by. Looks like mum is being hypnotised. If you look at this long enough, I guess that happens. Bella is getting pretty good at these bubbles, but I think Dad needs a bit more practice. Going over to have a fire on the beach. I don't know if it's an Australian thing, but we love ending the day with a fire on the beach and watching the sun go down. Our evening ritual includes a mud water rest rubu's tea. It's a perfect way to wind down after a day in the ocean. The organic ingredients are dream team of functional adaptogens and herbs to promote relaxation and a sense of calm, just like watching the sun go down. It can lead to a more restful night's sleep and the red and orange light in the sunset also helps set your circadian rhythm.
Absolutely killer of a sunset. Magical afternoon. We found a lead ball on board and the next morning had some fun practicing our breath holds and mucking around under the water. leaving that bay that we were just at, the one with the crystal clear water, and we're just heading around the corner to uh, where our friend's boat is. Yeah, that's what we're up to right now. We met up with our friends off Night Runner for Rio's seventh birthday, and turns out there are a few kid boats in the anchorage. One who SV Sarama we met in San Diego. So it was nice to see them again. Hi, oh, look at your colourful friends. <laughs> it's your donkey. Beautiful. Lucky Rhea had some new friends to break open the piñata and celebrate another year around the sun. Happy birthday, mate. <laughs> I like how he dangles it, is it? Around every corner here seems to be another beautiful place and this little spot out of the wind was no exception. The terracotta rocky landscape with clear water and plenty of fish life was a fun adventure. I don't know For all in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be so we're moving to a bay just around the corner. It's like five in the afternoon. We're going to go and anchor up before dark. All right, we've just moved bays. It's really a narrow little bay, so we're actually going to raft up with Night Runner. We haven't rafted up on this boat yet, so this is a first. It's a pretty bay.
Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. Hola, Coco. The engine glowed. Hey. And I guess you always seem to know. Hello, Ramona. I push back the serious healing. The end's unknown. To get back the life I used to know. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. We're all in this. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Cookie Video! Afternoons spent together on the beach and finding weird creatures is always a treat. Check out these alien-like sea lice. I don't know about you, but these give me the creeps. Yeah, what are they doing? Here, have some food. No, they don't. What they do? You just want to get up the sea. Don't look at them while they're going up the sea. That's so nah. Oh, that is nah. Look at them, they are swarming. That's nature at its best. Consuming it. Ew. No, it's not. Oh, look at this. Oh. What? Oh, I know. <laughs> Memo had his sister and mum on board and that night sailed them back to La Paz. We woke up again in this beautiful bay. got trouble in the tropics. Uh, we have our freezer door. It's an isotherm fridge. I actually replaced this door. It was a brand new fridge and uh, there's a bit of a fault with these. They actually have these little plastic lugs on the end and as the freezer door pivots on those, if there's any frost it sort of puts a little bit of pressure on them and they snap like this. So it's not often I complain about a product, but that is a real crappy poor design isotherm. So this is our second door, this is our first door. Um, I'm gonna have to do a little fix up because we've got meat in the freezer. I don't know what I'll do yet. I think I've got an idea. So this is what I'm gonna do guys. You gotta be creative when you're in the little bit of a spot where you need your freezer and your freezer door falls off. Um, there was some assorted hangy hook thingamabobs here. I'm just gonna use two of these. I'm just going to cut the end of that off and I'm going to uh, screw this into the door, the freezer door, once I remove the end I'll pop a little hole in there and it's a temporary fix but what a terrible design. This will be the third door freezer we've got to buy within a year. From this one to that one. Okay so I've just cleaned the end up a little bit. That's what it used what should look like 
Um, I've just cut that back. Now I'm going to drill a little hole and I can get this to stay in there. straight but how do you get that? I might go a little bit bigger so I don't split it. Alright, so that should in theory go in here. Yeah, it's still, still a little tight. Guys, not my best work, but hey, it uh, should fit into the hole in the door, and that should hold, hopefully. Oh, we have. Hope you enjoyed another great episode. We're here in this absolutely stunning little spot. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. <laughs> If you haven't already subscribed guys remember to subscribe if you like this video as always big thank you to our patrons because honey without them this wouldn't be possible so thank you we'll see you next time bye, bye.